Hi kids, we're going to talk about the energy conversion um, in the, the spring lab. So I want to show you how we can do it a couple different ways. So first way is what if our system is the cart plus the spring, okay? Remember if it's the cart plus the spring, you have kinetic potential of spring energy available to your system. So what type of, and then this is where you guys are going to use your little cubes. So I made these little origami cubes because it's fun to do origami. So if you take a look, I am starting with US. So let's say I am starting with six blocks of US. Okay. That's at part A because this is stretched. That's not moving. Now, as I go from A to B, okay, this spring is going to lose some of its stretch, meaning some of this US is going to go away, but because there's no outside force acting on my system, the U, all this, the total energy in my system is staying the same. It's just that some of this energy is getting converted. So as I go from A to B, some of this US is getting turned into kinetic. So like if there was a point where you know it went a little ways, maybe this is what it would look like. Where in that in-between stage, because some of the US got changed to kinetic. Well, as it continues, more of this US is getting changed to kinetic. More of this US is getting changed to kinetic. Okay. So if you look as it's kept going, and then eventually when I get to B, all of that US has changed to kinetic, and that's what it would look like, okay? So I started with US, and then it changed to kinetic. Now, I wanna show you what happens if, if my system was just the cart, okay? So if my system is just the cart, what type of energy is available to my system? Well, just kinetic. Well, that means, wait, do I, do I have kinetic at the start? No. That means I got nothing at the start. I got no energy at the start. Why? Because this thing is not moving. Now, as it goes from here to here, and this is where if I was to draw an FBD going from A to B, here's my cart. Well, there is a force from the spring going that way on the cart. That's an outside force to my system because my system is just the cart. That force is parallel trajectory. It's moving. That means it's going to do work. That means it's going to add energy. So what type of energy is going to add? Well, it's going to add some kinetic. So as it goes from A to B, it's like, hey, my cart is gaining energy. It's 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 gaining Okay. Why is it gaining energy? Because this outside force did work on it. So I would start with nothing and then I would gain kinetic energy. Okay. If we're going to do one where our system was instead, let's do one where our system is just the spring. Well, if our system is just the spring, what do we have acting? It's just US. Well, what force is acting on the spring going from A to B? Well, going from A to B, there's my spring, I have a force from the cart that's going that way because the cart's attached on that side. But remember, it's moving, you know, the. it's moving this way. Well, geez, if it's moving this way and the, the force is that way, that's going to be negative work. So... If I was doing this time, if my system is just U, the spring, I would start with US because my spring is stretched. And then as I move along, as this cart moves along, this cart is taking some of the US energy away. It's taking some of the 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 energy away. And then when it gets to here, there's no more energy stored in it, which means that all that energy left my system. Why? Because this force 
did negative work. So this is where, and you guys are going to have to be able to do this with blocks and stuff like this, um, but you need to really understand what is happening, what is in your system, what forces are acting on your system um, in order to understand this. So I hope that helps. Uh, make your blocks because you know you're gonna be using them. Um, and uh, bye, kids.